you're sitting on the edge of the bed trying to have an honest dialogue with yourself and the little voice says you know it's pretty disgusting in here and you think well I'm way above such trivial niceties as organizing my room it's like well that's pride that's arrogance if you're above organizing what's actually yours how in the world are you ever going to organize anything else and so you get on your knees and you think well it's time to you know take a brush to the toilet and maybe that's where you start and so and that works like that works you start making those micro improvements like real micro improvements real on the ground actual micro improvements to things you know that are wrong you'll improve unbelievably rapidly if you don't have hope and you don't have this breakthrough where you have for just a millisecond this insight where you go well what if things did work out if you don't have that moment most people stay so stuck in resignation there are um so many people that are not aware of how much better and how much more present and how much more joy they could experience in their life. See, when you are not filling your life with the things that you are capable of doing. See, we all have some stuff that we've been given. And I don't think that it's optional for us to sit on what we have. See, if you're sitting on what you have, what you've been given, and I think everybody's been given something to bring to the planet. that only you can do that only you can perform that only you can initiate that activity and if you don't do that if you're not filling in your life with your life work or your mission then there are gaps in your life and what we do when we're not living out our true identity we begin to fill the gaps we fill the holes with garbage success is getting what you want fulfillment is living what you're made for this is dreams we're talking about We're talking about dreams. Can you train your brain to appreciate? Because in the middle of whatever you're pissed off about, or frustrated, or fearful about, or worried about, you're deleting all the things you could be grateful for, you could appreciate that are absolutely real. Be your own motivator, and you build yourself up. And that's the problem with the mind. You know, I want your. listeners or viewers to really think about this you do not experience life you experience the life you focus on that's it you believe we you know we know from the science and we know from experience that if i exercise it's a process and it's good for me even though i can't measure it in the short term and if i eat well and i keep doing that i know it'll keep me healthy for the long term of eat more leafy greens and less sugar i know and i just have to stick to this process that in 100% 100% of the time it works how long does it take to get into shape if you start exercising nobody knows right neither does any doctor sometimes a little less time for some people and sometimes a little more time for others like we don't know we just know 100% that it works and so i had to get used to the idea professionally that i'm going to do things that i know work but i won't be able to measure them and i just have to be okay with the fact that it works like exercise like eating right and so that's where you know learning an infant mindset and letting go of annual goals so people are like you know what's your annual goal i don't have any because i can't predict what i'm going to achieve based on arbitrary time lines and and it's really important in the visualization you can't see it over there you have to see it right here feel it you got to yeah. feel it right here like i am it's all i am i am i am in my dream home i am in my dream relationship and then unpack what that looks like but most importantly unpack what it feels like and when you have that that emotion in this moment all of a sudden you stir up something that i don't think will ever go back to sleep it'll go okay let's go get that develop your mind you don't get in life what you want you get in life what you are you have greatness in you that you have the ability to do more than you could ever begin to imagine you have greatness in you there's a presence in each and every one of us that waits and listens to the voice of the genuine in yourself it will be perhaps the only guide you will ever have or hear and if you cannot hear it all of your life will be spent 
on the ends of strings that somebody else pulls. When you recognize your greatness, no one will ever pull your strings. You are different. You were created on purpose with a purpose to manifest that purpose through you. But you will never exercise authority and dominion over your life until you exercise authority and dominion over what you are not. It's difficult out here for a lot of people, including myself. A lot of people are hurting. A lot of people are going through a lot of different things. They're experiencing so many different dramatic changes in their lives. But the thing about it is, is that you can't be surprised about these things, but you need to be prepared. You should never walk through life assuming that every day is just gonna be a great day for you. Believe me, I know. And I know there are many people out there that can say the same thing. But it's all about how we deal with it and how we overcome it. It's all about rising up, people. Being able to get up, get out, show up, and do your business. That's what it's all about, people. You got to have the ability to know what it means to rise up. Being able to rise up from the ashes of negativity, doubt, and fear. These things are definitely designed to pull you down, to break you down, and take everything from you. But not on this day, not on this watch, and not on this hour. And for the rest of your life, continue to shine and do the best you can to be the best makeup that you can be within yourself. Rise up. Rise up from the ashes of negativity, doubt, and fear. And understand that even your emotions can play tricks on you. So take advantage of your life. Take control of it. Reason takes time, understanding it, being able to deal with the do's and the don'ts, the ups and the downs. There's a reason for it, and sometimes we may not like it, but when that purpose starts to knock on your door, that's it. That means you have made it, whatever the situation may be, that purpose has been fulfilled. It is already here. It was already meant to be. It's, it's, it happened. It's there. So do the best you can leading to your purpose because one thing for sure we are never gonna we, none of us are gonna be here for long sooner or later you gotta leave this planet but make the best of the life that you have on this day and the day after so if tomorrow comes for you if tomorrow go, comes for me let's get out there and make the best of it because tomorrow is another day and if you're a part of that day that means you got work to do Success doesn't owe you, you owe success. Success doesn't work for you, you work for success. And that work takes time. Everything that we do in this life takes time. It's a process. But are you prepared for the test? Are you prepared to fight? Are you prepared to live? Are you prepared to push through it? Even when you feel that you can't. And we need faith. And we need power. And we need gratitude. And we need to be humble. But we must always stay hungry.